Hey again, welcome to my second video on how to build a record lathe. In the last video I showed you the basic layout of my lathe concept as well as the assembly of the embossing head. Today we are going to take a closer look at the moving parts of the head. First let's compare my design with a professional cutting head. I've adopted some design choices but scaled them up to match my dimensions and the off-the-shelf parts I'm using for the build. If you like my content you can support my channel via Paypal Me. Now let's take a closer look at the parts I'll be building in this video. For a stereo head we use two drivers. I will install two adapter caps that connect the drivers to the stylus holder. At the end of the tube is a V-shaped cantilever spring. The final part is the stylus holder tube, which holds the tools for cutting or embossing. Let's start with a deep dive into the tube. First I use two square nuts to hold the tube more securely while drilling. I bought this aluminum tube from one of many online sellers. This part is actually made as an adapter for drones. The good thing is, it already has threads on both ends, so the cantilever spring can easily be screwed on. After trying to drill a hole, I realized I needed a different adapter to get better quality results. So I designed a few different versions and in the end it was this tiny little part that worked best. These two parts will hold the tube at both ends. I added an angled wall to the part so the tube can be tilted by 90 degrees. This means both holes are drilled at the 90 degree angle to each other. These holes are for the linkages of the driver caps. This is a very simple way to drill the first two holes more or less accurately. After the first hole, the adapter can be unscrewed from the plate and rotated by 90 degrees for the second hole. After a centering drill, the hole is then deepened with a smaller drill bit. The same process is repeated for the second hole. For the hole that holds the stylus I will need another adapter. This one will be angled along its length and should be look something like this. I added two tiny holes to the adapter to help align the tube at the correct angle. To align the tube I use two 1mm drill bits on both sides of the adapter that I plug into the tiny side holes. At first I drill a small hole using a centering drill, then I use a normal drill bit to deepen it.
Here you can see my first try, but later results turned out much better. So yeah, maybe I will improve this adapter in the future. As a stylus I want to use 1.6mm tungsten rods. I noticed that I needed to make the hole larger, so I ordered a set of precision drill bits for this purpose. The result with the new drill bits was perfect. The tungsten rod fits just right. I also had to enlarge the two holes on the side of the tube. For the linkages of the driver caps I use 1.2 mm wires. This needs to be done for both holes. The end result looks quite nice. Let's now connect the tube to the rest of the head. First we screw the end of the tube onto the cantilever spring. The driver caps must sit exactly centered on the drivers. The 1.2 mm wire is test fitted into a driver cap and placed back onto the driver to measure the correct wire length. The same needs to be done on the other side. Now let us place the caps back onto the drivers and check again to make sure everything fits perfectly. Now it's time to glue all parts together. The caps are now glued onto the drivers. The linkages wires must be glued onto the caps as well. Now is the last chance to correct the length and position of the wires. Finally, the linkages are glued into the tube. For last check, I use a long straight tungsten rod to correct the angle of the tube until the rod is perfectly straight. One final check and the last drop of glue and the assembling head is finished.
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or feedback feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.